Weight Center Promise is an effort to create a continuum of services that will serve kids and families in White Center. My hope for children of White Center is that they, that all children in our neighborhood would grow up with every opportunity and every resource possible. We want our children to be reaching uh, kindergarten, hitting the ground, ready to go, and getting a great education in K-12 so that they're ready for college, so that they're ready for a career and, and a great job and whatever path they want to follow. And we feel like if the whole community comes together, that is a real possibility for all of our kids. The White Center Promise Planning Year started in February of 2011. We have three lead agencies that are, are really spearheading this effort. It is the Southwest Youth and Family Services, the White Center Community Development Association, and Highline Public Schools. So the zone is a 1.36 uh, square mile area in White Center, which is an unincorporated part of King County right next to Seattle. It's an incredibly diverse area with a lot of different languages spoken and a lot of different cultures that are embraced. We also have uh, two uh, big public housing developments in the area that have about 721 housing units and we also have about 82 percent of our kids are qualified for free and reduced lunch which gives you a sense of the poverty rate in the area which is quite high. White Center Promise really focuses on three schools in the White Center area, White Center Heights Elementary, Mount View Elementary and Cascade Middle School. So the continuum solutions part of Promise is really how do we take what's working really good that families are really benefiting from, not only in, within education but within the community, that really helps to build on self-sufficiency and strengths that people have naturally. So when I say like good education, you know, try to get like a uh, very good teaching, you know, like try to get like summer programs, after school programs, like try to involve like community with the schools. You know, a lot of things that has been prepared is that not only kid ready for the school, but it's also school ready to accept the kid of different culture. So the continuum of solutions, which we also like to think of as a pipeline of services, is where we're really going to be working with all of the different providers that are going to be um, working on this initiative to make sure that they're all talking to each other, that they're all aligned, that we're providing streamlined services, and we're, um, we're sharing data so that we can provide the best services as possible to the kids and families over time. So we really want to make sure that you have a seamless transition from one provider to another. Every parent, your hope for your kids is a better education, a way to succeed in life. And I think Promise is promising a lot of that for our kids, to have projects after school projects, to have a lead of what you do after high school. Because a lot of kids, want, they want to finish high school, they want to do something else, but there's nobody else there to tell them, okay, this is what you do after high school. A Promise is a really good program that's going to come to White Center and change a lot of things. It's nice. It's connected to the families and parents and school and everywhere. And that's beautiful. At the end of the day, this has to be about student achievement. We really want our kids to graduate high school with options. And be it a two-year college or a four-year college or a great apprenticeship program, we want our students to be able to leave and move on to something that will lead to a family wage job and a stronger community. I plan to go to community college and I try to get my AA biology degree and after that I would like to transfer to UW to get to the big picture I want to get into the medical school. How many you know generations of communities and organizers have have said to school systems we want to work with you. These are our kids. And so as we build neighborhood partnerships, we hope that the impact will go beyond education into other parts of people's lives. I envision that just like with everything else with the White Center CDA, that residents will be intimately involved. Um, parents will be the ones who stand up at board meetings and demand answers. And parents will be the ones who say, you know what, this isn't good enough for our kids. And it's up to us as a community um, to really hold our feet to the fire and be accountable to our children in White Center. I think people look at, look at our neighborhood and only see um, what we don't have or um, you know, 
kind of the challenges that are that we have. But what what people need to recognize is that our kids really grow up with a lot of advantages, and they grow up with skills. And so, I I believe that the kids in our neighborhood have a gift to be given into the world. And so, you know, if they're if they're equipped and if they are inspired and if there are the right people in their lives, I don't think there's anything that can stop them from changing the world. one child on my own, but I have 100 children in my center. 